we go back to a few lessons ago on variables, it was video 01B, we had this problem where we were um, looking at the circumference of a circle. We had a variable called diameter. We had pi, which is we calculated as 3.1416. And we calculated the circumference as the diameter times pi. And then we wanted to print that out. And we used four print statements to get one line of printout. And we overrode the new line character in those first three print statements with end equals quote, quote. Wouldn't it be great, though, if we could simplify this process and do it with just one print statement? And the good news is we can using concatenation. I'm going to select these four statements and go to the Format menu and choose Comment Out Region. And let's change those four lines to one print statement. So we mentioned concatenation before, and concatenation is just adding strings together. We use the plus sign as the operator for that. So the plus sign is both the addition operator and the concatenation operator. But it knows whether to add numbers together or add strings together based on the data types of what it's putting together. So we had a literal string. I'm just going to copy and paste of the circumference of A. And I'm going to add here the diameter variable plus space unit diameter circle is, I just want to make sure I get the quotes, so I'll copy and paste that, let me pull this over a little bit, plus I want circumference. And that's my print statement. However, I'm going to get an error if I try to run this. And the reason being, diameter is not a string, and circumference is not a string. And we try to concatenate values together. Each of these have to be a string. Here we have a mixture of literal strings, the circumference of A and unit diameter circle is. But diameter and circumference are variables. And we can add those together, but they're the wrong type of variable. These are floating point variables. In the case of diameter, it's actually an integer. But I need to make these strings. And if you remember, we can cast using str. So I can say str, and then it's a method, so it takes parentheses, and inside the parentheses is what I want to cast, what I want to change. I want to change diameter to a string value, and do the same thing with circumference. And of course, for every left paren, I need a right paren. And if you remember, we can do a continuation line character of a backslash to continue this on the next line. And I can move my file back over a little bit here so we can see the output when we run this. So this now is one statement, which is written on two different lines. And I'm going to save it, Control S, F5 to run. And I'm getting the exact same thing we had before where we used four print statements, but I'm only using one print statement. And it's converting 20 to a string and the circumference to a string when it adds these together. I'm going to show you another way to do this with the print statement. Rather than casting things to strings, we can do placeholders in a string. So once again, I'm going to basically just copy part of this. and paste. I'm going to get rid of a few things here. So the circumference of A, and I'm going to put inside curly brackets the number 0 of a 0 unit diameter circle is, and I'm going to put inside curly brackets a 1. Let's add a period to our sentence. So I now have a string, but I have what we call placeholders here. And these will accept data that I'm going to specify at the end of my string. We start counting with index numbers as 0. So what I want to put in place of the 0 there is the value of diameter, and in place of the 1 is the value of circumference. Now the dot format is a method, so I have it inside parentheses. And then I need a closing print for the print method. 
And let's try running that. I'm, again, I'm going to shrink this back over. I'm going to save, Control S, press F5 to run. And now I'm getting the same thing as the line above. So I'm getting it twice, once from this print statement, once from that print statement. But it's the exact same thing other than I put a period at the end of this one. So that's how we can use variables within a dot format of a string to insert those values. And it does the conversion to a string for us automatically. We can do what's called combined operations uh, with our various operators. And I forgot to show this in the math, but if you're for a concatenation, remember the plus is our concatenation operator. If I create a string such as XYZ and I say it equals south, I can then say XYZ plus equals, and I'll put a space here in front of the word mountain inside of quotes. And do the same thing again, XYZ plus equals community college. And what the plus equals means is add to the existing value, or in this case, concatenate to the existing string. So we have XYZ equals south, then we're going to concatenate to that mountain and concatenate to that community college. So if I print XYZ and I save and run this, I'm getting South Mountain Community College. Now I didn't put a space in front of community here, so this ran together. And it's important to remember, if you're going to concatenate things, you often want to add spaces in your strings. And save, run again, and that looks much better. I'm going to do another variable called A, will stand for apple. B will be banana. And C will be cherry. And here I'm going to print A comma B comma C. Save and run. And notice we get apple, banana, and cherry on the same line. And we put a, a comma in between variables. It's converting all these variables to uh, strings and putting a space in between. Now I could say D equals 5, E equals 12, and F equals 18. And print D comma E comma F. And notice it works with numeric values as well. It does convert those to strings and put spaces in between them. Let me do one more. I'm going to print A comma B comma C. You put a comma and then say sep for separator equals, and I want a comma and a space. I'm going to save and run. And now I'm getting apple, banana, and cherry, but with a comma and a space in between. So this sep equals some string replaces the space in between those values. Let me demonstrate that a little bit more again here. We're just going to do a space. Actually, let's do a three asterisk, two spaces, and three asterisk. Control S, F5, and notice here now is my separator, three asterisk, two spaces, and three asterisk, and the same thing here. If I wanted to print these as a list, we can do a comma b comma c, and my separator can become a new line character, backslash n. Save, run, and there is our apple, banana, cherry as a list separated by new line characters. So those are some neat little tricks in terms of working with the print statement.